Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Spire the Dragon for the Sony PlayStation 1. In the last episode, we went to Crystal Flight as well as Wizard Peak. And we also went back to the Artisan's Homeworld because we found out that if we leaped around on the stones near the waterfall, we'd find something good. And we have... Sunny Flight, the flight level for the artisans that we couldn't get to until now. I mean, technically we could have already done it, even if we didn't know the hint. But I decided to do it last time just to show you how you're supposed to find out. And now... It's time to enter Sunny Flight, and because we're playing this later on, this one's going to be a little more difficult compared to the other home, in other worlds in the Artisan Homeland. So first of all, we're going to turn to the left here. Now these barrels, we need to flame them. And if we do it right, we should be able to burn through the two that are on each train immediately. There we go. Now we need to go this way. And we could go to the arches, but by going in this direction, we can get the boxes. We can get the chests, the crates, the boxes, what have you. And by flaming all of these, we will be done with the crates right away. Now it is time to take on the arches, and I'm surprised I didn't turn left a little sooner there, because that would have allowed for me to, well, get to that arch, just get lined up with it rather a little bit sooner. And once we near the end of the arches, we'll be seeing the planes. I don't want to get, well, maybe I do, but... I do want to get the planes, or rather the arches finished up before I get to the planes. It helps to fly against the planes whenever necessary. If you can do that, taking these things out gets a little easier. And I just got two more to go. Okay, just one. I thought I had two left, but nope, I had just one. And just like that, we managed to get everything all in a row and in just less than two minutes, too. No, we're not going to try that again. Because I need to go back to the Artisan Homeworld, get some more orbs for extra life grabbing, and then... We are going to go ahead and head back to the, what is it, the Magic Crafters homeworld so we can get to Blowhard's level. We pretty much completed all the normal levels in the Magic Crafters homeworld last time. And now, all this really left in the Magic Crafters homeworld is blowhard. And when you know what to do, you can easily beat blowhard. I mean, blowhard didn't give me any trouble at all. And Magic Crafters. Okay. I almost picked Beast Makers there for a second, but I didn't want to do that just yet. And once again, I am going to take the long road over to where blowhard's level is. So I can get some more orbs for the extra lives again. And I'm going to chase after this guy and take him out for the orb in regular, in, not regular, but, well, probably regular time, but uh, record time. And I am now a little closer to an extra life.
And what do you know, I managed to speed up right into that guy and just take him out like that. All right, we've taken care of everybody so far. Let me see if I can get the... I can. I didn't think I was going to hit him from that far away, though. Now we need to go up the... What is it? The hill here. Then we're going to supercharge our way down. No, fair enough. I'm behind him now. And it shouldn't be long before we reach that fork in the road that will allow us to get the blowhard. Blowhard's level is going to be down there, but I do want to go up here first because that'll give me... Well, that'll give me an extra life. Good thing I did that after all. And I managed to hit him before he could hit me. Now to take care of the last of the... Okay, I didn't think I'd take care of both of them at the same time. Well, we're done here. Let's go ahead and confront bro Blowhard. And this is... Much like Dr. Shemp and Toasty before, this is going to be in a short, easy stage, and you'll be racking up the gems before you know it, just because of how you just get them all. I mean, you'll get five here, five here, ten there. You'll find a good collection here, a good collection there. The enemies collect contain a good amount. They give you a good amount for each one that you defeat. These two guys are going to be no exception. Just make sure you don't get zapped as you're doing all this and you should be fine. Like right here. Instant 100. And instant shocking apparently because I can't seem to do this right. And I just want to glide. Well, I was trying to glide towards Blowhard there. He does shoot out clouds that shoot out thunder. But I never really saw them in my practice run of everything that I'm going to be doing for this video. And I need to be very careful with how I'm jumping. Like, this part's going to be easy, but we'll do have to do a little bit of gymnastics just to make everything work for the next part. Anyway, here's the only dragon for the blowhard level. Thanks for releasing me, Spyro. You have no idea how long I've been trapped in crystal. And, uh, neither do I. Who are you again? Um, I'm out of here. Well, after that, no, no choice but to go forward, I guess. Really want to make sure that we utilize our shadow here because... I do not want to fall down the into these pits. And there is a chest here. You definitely don't want to forget that. Or these. It would definitely help not to forget these. And let us now somehow get shocked. There we go. I was trying to glide into him, and that didn't exactly work. Well, we just have one more hit on this guy to go. Let's make sure that we can make it happen. And all we really need to do now is just keep going up these stairs. And we'll eventually see him. There we go. Now this time I didn't have a problem. And now we've got... Some more gems to collect, and I believe this is the last one. Please let this be the last one. It's the last one. Good. And that was the only dragon. So, we are now done with Blowhard. And I have done all that I've been able to do so far in less than 10 minutes. So, let's keep going with things. And uh, let's also... One, get
get some fodder because I really need the hit points. We'll be able to get some more once we enter the next world. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get the beast makers before worse things happen. So here we are in the fourth world of the game, the beast makers. And if you know what you're doing, you can easily get everything that's here just in minutes. First of all, all that swamp water, you don't want to land in any of it, so don't. Second of all, just pay attention to what's going on around here. You got these guys that will sh shock the metal floors. You want to wait for them to stop flashing with electricity before you get on them and then beat up the little Frankenstein guys. Also, those three red gems I picked up, those are probably the easiest ones to miss. Be sure you pick them up. And let's go ahead and rescue Bruno. Master Nork is turning our swamp into an electrified junk heap. And it used to be so beautiful. I'm sure it was. And we want to make sure we go behind the portal for... What's it called? Terrace Village. So that way we don't miss out on the gems that are back there. And now... We need to back up just a little bit. So that way we can blow all of these things up. These two blow up together. But the first one has to be blown up on its own amazingly. you think there'd be a chain reaction for all three, but... I don't think you really get it unless you hit the middle one first. Also, these Warhogs are much like the Rams from Stonehill. You get close enough to them... They're going to charge at you. Also, before I do anything, I do want to make my way over to here. Spyro, it's great to see you, but I've got to go. And now that we have another dragon rescued, we need to open these up. And apparently you can flame the trees, even though there's no reason to do so. And you want to be very careful as you go behind this hut because of this warthog. You can do it from the other hand, but it'll be a little easier to be caught out if you do. So I just do it this way. Now that that's done, we also want to go down here, too. There is a portal for Wild Flight, which is yet another flight level. But there's no reason to ta tackle it quite yet because, well, one, there's a whirlwind and I want to go back, and two... There are other levels that I do want to take on. So let's get back here. And let's get back to the tree. I'm going to go all around the tree here. Because there are gems all around. There's another level there called Treetops. We're not going to go to it yet, obviously. And you want to make sure you do check behind a tree because there's a yellow gem worth 10 gems here. All right. Now we need to go beyond this bridge and tackle some things. And we also need to get everything between those two platforms and then get on the platforms proper. Now there are some gems there, but I don't want to get those quite yet. Instead, I'm going to keep going, and I'm going to keep going in this direction. And I'm going to keep getting all of the things that are here. 
And what does this guy have to say as far as going to the next world? Okay, so the dragons are still trapped in crystal. We need to rescue 50. We're going to stay here, and we only need two more. And we'll find them in another level. But if we can rescue 50 dragons, we can play the next world, which I think is the very last one. Anyway, by going up these stairs, you can get as high as you can in the level. And you can also get to a certain platform. And I'm trying to figure out where it is. You can definitely reach it from here. There it is, right there, where that chest is in the distance. There's also a key there, and I want to get it too. Yeah, let's make sure we get the key and get it carefully. Now we need to glide over to here. And you have to leap off the very edge and then glide just to get back here. Now that we have the key and a whirlwind, we can easily get to this box and get what, what, get what is left. Am I walking towards where the box was? We can easily get everything that way. Please tell me that's the last of it. That is the last of it. Okay, then. Well. We have found just about everything that is needed to be found. And we have done that for three levels. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and save the game. And then we're going to close out this video and then we'll tackle some stuff in the Beastmaker's world for next time. So let's go ahead and save the game here real quick. Join me next time where we take on some levels in the Beastmaker's world. Until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!